Hey guys, welcome to MRCS Hacks. Today we're going to be looking at the abdominal aorta and its first branch, the celiac trunk, at the level of T12. Let's get stuck in. So there are three main branches of the celiac trunk. The first is the splenic artery, the left gastric artery, and the common hepatic artery. The left gastric artery gives rise to the esophageal branches, which go proximally towards the esophagus. The splenic artery gives off branches to the pancreas along its route and also gives rise to the short gastric arteries. And its main branch is the left gastroepiploic artery, which supplies the greater curvature of the stomach. The common hepatic artery gives rise to the right gastric artery, which together with the left gastric artery supplies the lesser curvature of the stomach. It gives rise to the gastroduodenal artery, the left hepatic artery, and the right hepatic artery. And in most circumstances, it also gives rise to the cystic artery, which branches off the right hepatic artery in most people and supplies the gallbladder. The gastroduodenal artery has two branches, the right gastroepiploic artery, which supplies, again, the greatest curvature of the stomach, and it also gives rise to the superior pancreaticoduodenal artery, which, together with the inferior pancreaticoduodenal artery, branching off from the superior mesenteric artery, supplies parts of the duodenum and pancreatic head. <laughs> 